Hi, I'm Roger Margolis, Research Director at O'Reilly Media. I've been working in data warehousing since the early 90s, organizing and analyzing data for business and other reasons. Uh, I've worked with a lot of different technologies around the data, including starting column databases in the mid-90s at Sybase, most recently using massively parallel processor databases and MapReduce uh, in our work at O'Reilly. So what is big data and why is it important? Big data has become really the key core competency of the information age, what distinguishes the current era. And what is big data? It's really when the data is large enough that you really have to think about it, how you're going to organize it, how you're going to store it, how you're going to manage it in order to gain some benefit from it. For some organizations, this might be like hundreds of gigabytes. For others, it might be multi-terabytes or even getting up to petabytes depending on their experience. Now, why does it matter? Well, big data can confer enormous competitive advantage for those who can make the most sense out of it and take actions based on what they're learning. Examples like Google and the Barack Obama campaign show when people use data, they can really stand out from, from what's around them and their competitors. Why is there so much big data? There's a lot going on around computing and sensors that are creating a lot of extra data, or a lot more data than we've ever seen before. So we're seeing these enormous sensor networks. We're seeing public data, like the web itself, where there's not only a lot more data available, but it's unstructured, harder to make sense of, but so much of it that you can learn a lot about what's going on. There are implicit behavior captures. For instance, academics are using GPS-equipped telephones to figure out how people interact, learning the frequency of interactions, and even be able to predict behaviors based on that. As people have gotten used to using more data, what they've been finding is that data, the size of the data, becomes a key uh, component in improving the quality of things like uh, predictive models and um, recommendation engines and so forth. Uh, a good example is Google's use of their translation engine, which was improved not so much by a better algorithm, but by having so much data uh, available. And we've been hearing this from across many industries that when you have a lot of data and you're able to incorporate that into decision making, everything comes out better. When you have data to really make the best use of it, you need to set up a kind of an experimental approach to it. That you're going to be looking at the data, trying to learn from it, taking that feedback, and then putting that into the next iteration of what you're going to be uh, using the data for. The more people are data aware, the more that your company is driven by these data points, the better uh, they'll be able to integrate learnings from the data around them. 